It's tech news time, which as you guys know, means it's time to throw Riley's intro in a dumpster. Come on. And tech about the news. That's a good one. 5G networks. Every tech company and their grandma is working on it right now to help you get faster data speeds on your phone. In fact, Ericsson and Intel just hit a milestone in 5G development with a bi-directional data call in Sweden. But Samsung, Nokia, and Spanish cell carrier Telefonica don't want to wait. These three companies have worked together on what they call 4.9G, reaching speeds of one gigabit per second on existing LTE infrastructure in Segovia, Spain, using a Galaxy S9. The speeds were enabled by Nokia Airscale base stations and the LTE Advanced Pro Tech that is already present in the S9 and the S9 Plus. Now, with all of that said, once 5G is rolled out, speeds of up to 5 gigabits per second should eventually be possible, along with much lower latency. So, I mean, I applaud 4G for putting up the good fight, but eventually we're gonna have to take it back behind the warehouse and give it the old... Oh. Oh, <laughs> you wrote it! No. Historically, when Chinese tech companies copied a Western design, it was an unofficial knockoff. But AMD has actually been working with Chinese holding company Thatic, T-H-A-T-I-C, to produce Diana CPUs in China based on AMD's Zen architecture, and specifically the Epic line. But since the US government has blocked direct moves by some US companies to collaborate with Chinese ones, including blocking Intel from selling Xeon processors in China, AMD had to duck and, you know, weave a little bit. So Fatic created two companies, HMC and Hygon. AMD owns 30% of Hygon and 51% of HMC, which owns the intellectual property for the chips. And then that's all kosher since AMD still technically has majority ownership of HMC. It licenses that IP to Hygon, which designs the chips and sells them back to HMC for production. The chips are then sent back to be sold under the Hygon name, which, dang it, AMD. You guys are sneaky. Anyway, all of this maneuvering should lift AMD's bottom line with extra revenue from China. Heck, they've got some to spare. Heck, what? Heck, heck no, heck no. Heck yeah. Heck no. Microsoft's Surface Andromeda folding phone tablet thing probably won't be hitting shelves anytime soon. After a river of leaks and rumors, a river of leaks, that's right, it fell apart with the rumors bit though, good try, uh, pointed to a dual screen Windows powered handheld device coming this year, multiple sources are claiming that Andromeda is dead in the water. Hey, good one. The parts of Windows 10 that would have enabled the smaller dual screen experience reportedly are not ready for prime time, and a recent staff shakeup has meant that the plans have have uh, <clears throat> gone back to the drawing board. That hasn't stopped some loyal fans though who have started a petition on change.org to convince Microsoft to release the device, whatever it is. At the time of writing, the petition had over 11,600 highly optimistic signatures from dedicated dual screen devotees. So are you guys interested in a device that may or may not? Um, exist and probably won't be exactly what you expected, then get on down to our news sources below and sign that for yourself. It's time for extremely timely and tiny newsicles. Mmm, summer. Brought to you by us. Come celebrate ourselves in person, and including you, Riley. Yeah, get on up. Go. He's going to be there at LTX 2018. It's a meetup and tech event coming up on July 14th. That's in less than a week. It's at the Richmond Olympic, I didn't know he's way back there. Richmond Olympic Oval here in beautiful British Columbia. And you can meet the Linus Tech Tips team and participate in everything from a cable management challenge to a land tournament to 12K, actually it's 10K, but who's counting gaming and more. But down below, we're gonna have tickets listed for just 35 bucks Canadian. So about the cost of a bubble gum in the States and you can go buy them. Well, at that link below. On to the newsicles. Microsoft may be killing the Andromeda, but it looks like they will be releasing some sort of new Surface device next week. Most likely, a smaller tablet powered by an Intel Pentium processor. That is, if the leaks are anything to go by. Oh, and Microsoft also posted a teaser, so 
It's at least partially non-rumor at this point. Some solid evidence has popped up that Apple will release a budget iPhone 10 this fall. Casemaker Ghost Tech revealed that it will never get early access to Apple hardware ever again. Uh, sorry, excuse me. They revealed some case designs for an iPhone with an iPhone 10 style notch and a single camera on the back instead of two. Say what? That's not an instant pre-order for me. You don't know me very well. The world isn't ready for new Radeon graphics cards. A leaked product roadmap from ASRock shows a number of new versions of existing Radeon GPUs that are in the pipeline, but with no new cards appearing until at least February 2019. So those rumors about Polaris 30 coming later this year? Probably bunk, unless ASRock is just getting a lesson in not leaking roadmaps and AMD is just not telling them about it probably didn't happen. What is gonna show up though, is new Whiskey Lake Intel mobile CPUs to replace existing KB Lake R processors using the same 14 nanometer plus plus process, but with further optimizations to allow the chips to turbo to up to 4.5 gigahertz. I don't care how fast it is, as long as it's 14 nanometer though. Well, I don't know. I think I care how shrink fast it is. I care how fast it is. Yes, you, you shrink it, jump in some cold water. I'm tired of 14. And jump in some more news. A Warframe developer, Digital Extremes, are showing everyone else how it's done, adding multi-crew spaceship combat and hoverboards to their free-to-play game and bringing it to the Switch on top of that. You see that, Bungie? Yeah, that's right. Take a look at Destiny 2 and think about what you've done. Shame. And you guys, take a look at this beautiful face one last time. Oh. Because that's it for the news today. Like the video if you liked it, dislike if you're that kind of person. Subscribe for more tech news thrice a week. And in the meantime, stay off the internet. It's a dangerous place. There's wizards. Oh, internet wizards. <laughs> oh, it's more force lightning, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, but Dennis wouldn't know. He's apparently never seen a Star Wars movie. <laughs> Come on.